Welcome to Tales and Travel Adventures. Let's visit the Virginia Theater. Hello, Champaign Public Library and the Urbana Free Library have prepared this journey back in time for us. I am Lavana Hawkins, and today we will visit the Virginia Theater in Champaign, Illinois. There are two ways you can use this program. You can just listen and follow along as I read the narrative that accompanies each slide, or you or your partner can turn down the volume and use the controls to pause each screen so that you can read the narrative aloud yourself. You might also want to talk with your partner about what you are seeing or any memories that come to mind. The Virginia Theater in Champaign, Illinois opened on December 28, 1921 with a live stage show of The Bat featuring Mary Roberts Reinhardt and Avery Hopwood. The exterior of the building is in the Italian Renaissance Revival style. Being in the audience at the Virginia is a thrilling experience. What does it feel like to sit in these seats and wait for the show to begin? What do you imagine the people would do while they wait? What sort of show do you imagine seeing in a theater like this? Perhaps you have wondered why it is called the Virginia. That is a good question with an interesting answer. A. W. Stuhlman, a prominent local contractor, commissioned the building in 1920. He used the middle name of his daughter, Elizabeth Virginia Stuhlman, as the name of the theater. He believed the name would encourage the idea of high-class moral entertainment. The theater was built with a movie screen and a stage for live productions. When it first opened, it showed silent movies. Talking pictures were shown in 1929. Many changes in ownership occurred over the years until Champaign Park District assumed control in 2000. Something very exciting for Champaign and for the theater began in 1999. Roger Ebert's Overlooked Film Festival began that year. Roger Ebert was a well-known film critic in 1975, at the age of 32, he was the first film critic to win the Pulitzer Prize. He was a native of Urbana, the twin city with Champaign, and home to the Virginia Theater. He was the only child of Walter and Annabelle Ebert, and grew up in a small stucco house at 410 East Washington in Urbana. Growing up, Ebert frequented local theaters, including the Princess Theater in Urbana. He was a devotee of the Kitty Matinee. He spent many Saturday afternoons in the cool, dim light of the theater watching the five to six color cartoons, followed by a double feature, usually a Western and a Bowery Boys cartoon. A. 
1958, he was 16 years old when he viewed Citizen Kane at the Art Theater in Champaign. In his later years of life, he referred to this movie as the most important film ever made. Like many teenagers in the 1950s in downstate Illinois, Ebert loved Steak and Shake. Close your eyes, take a moment, and picture young Ebert heading to Steak and Shake after a movie for a steak burger, fries, and Coke. Imagine as he entered, what did he smell and hear? and see. Roger and Shaz Ebert began Ebert Fest in 1999 with the mission to celebrate films, genres, and formats that have been overlooked. Now an annual spring event, Ebert Fest is held at the historic Virginia Theater in Champaign. Thank you for visiting the Virginia Theater and Roger Ebert with me today. I have enjoyed sharing this time with you as friends. Here is something to think about. What makes someone a good friend? Questions? For materials to go along with this video, please contact Champaign Public Library at 217-403-2070 or librarian at champaign.org. Or you can contact Champaign County Historical Archives at the Urbana Free Library, 217-367. 4025 or archives at urbanafree.org. For information about using questions to have a meaningful conversation, visit timeslips.org.